Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another special bonus reading for the channel. If you are a Scorpio masculine or Scorpio female dealing with a masculine and or a feminine Capricorn, then this special bonus reading is for you. Let's take a look at the overall general collective energy going on between Scorpio and Capricorn. Let's see what's up with the energy, right? Okay. Calling upon the trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to. We have the power of number seven. We can see the chariot card show up, something about possible forward movement or somebody wants victory and success within this relationship connection. I'm also picking up on the seven of pentacles. There's a waiting energy going on here. Possibly the seven of wands may also show up. Somebody could have blocked somebody or somebody has emotionally shut down. Power of number nine, we could see the Hermit card kick in. Somebody's in some deep-seated reflection between, it could be you, Scorpio, towards this Capricorn or Capricorn towards Scorpio. There are thoughts, lots of numerous thoughts, fleeting thoughts that are going on in somebody's head here. Somebody's trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel or that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm hearing the phrase reconciliation. Somebody wants reconciliation or leveling up the connection. Power of number six. Some of you may want to Google the angel number 796 as an additional spiritual message for this reading between you and Capricorn. 796, okay? Looks like we are going to the power of number 22. We could also see the high priestess card, secret. Somebody's been highly secretive not expressing feelings or emotions, not showing or revealing their cards. However, we could see the lover's activity kick in. Somebody feels that this is a divine connection or a divine union, maybe soulmate, twin flame, whatever label you wish to put on it, life partner, okay? Power of number 22. What is going on between Scorpio and Capricorn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, we're on the power of number two. Look what fell out, the chariot. Somebody wants forward movement or somebody moved at a distance or brand new start or a big new beginning. This could be about in business. You could be also in business with a Capricorn for some of you guys. Or somebody could be pregnant. Capricorn, you could be pregnant with your Scorpio. Scorpio, you could be pregnant with Capricorn for some of you. Somebody wants a brand new start or somebody has a new beginning or is moving somewhere. Mm. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors are my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. For those that are dealing with a Capricorn, male or female, what is the overall general collective message or energy between these two zodiac signs, please? Six of Pentacles. Somebody is feeling breadcrumbed in this connection. Time and energy is being spent or directed among other people, places, things, or situations, and or third-party situations. Somebody is sending breadcrumbing text messages. Very blah. I'm picking up blah text messages. Nothing that has shows substance or in, like real deep emotions. Or somebody has tried to be 
emotional or show emotion or vulnerability within this connection, but somebody's just not digging it or <sighs> somebody shut off. I don't know why. Three of swords. I'm actually seeing this energy in both directions. Somebody could have went through a breakup, a split. It could have been you with this Capricorn, but I did technically see it in the reverse. Somebody's healing from a third party situation or trying to get over the fact that somebody got put into a third party or they found out about a third party. Or somebody wants to reconcile. What is the message from Scorpio unto Capricorn, please? Somebody's got some mental clarity or somebody mentally shut down about this connection or somebody's wanting the truth. Flat out, black and white. I'm hearing spirit. Somebody saying, I just want this person to be real and honest, please. That's what I heard. Tell me what's up. That's what I heard again. Tell me what's up. Somebody said some harsh words. It could have been you, Scorpio, unto your Capricorn. Capricorn, you might have even said some harsh words to Scorpio. Because somebody didn't want to open up. That's what I'm hearing. It's like uh, wishy-washy. Wishy-washy energy. I don't like it. Message from Capricorn unto Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody does feel like they're fate, fated or destined to be here. But somebody's showing emotions otherwise. Take the roles how they resonate. Or, more specifically, a Capricorn here could be getting their karma. Because they were breadcrumbing you, Scorpio. If they're going through a third-party situation, they're going to end up going through a breakup and then having to go through a healing dynamic. But like I said, take the rules how they resonate. Let's go into the hidden truth. What is the hidden truth of this six of uh, pentacles energy, trusted ancestors between Scorpio and Capricorn, this breadcrumbing energy? What the hell is this all about? You speak to me through music. Okay. So while somebody's giving time and energy to somebody else, they're thinking about you, Scorpio, or vice versa, Scorpio. You're thinking about this Capricorn. Or they can't get away from the signs or synchronicities because I can say signs and synchronicities can also come through the Wheel of Fortune because it's about fate and destiny. What is the hidden truth of this Three of Swords in the reverse? I look for you everywhere. See, doesn't matter who's giving time and energy. It's like your Scorpio, either your energy encompasses this Capricorn or Capricorn. This Scorpio encompasses your energy. Somebody is, despite the fact of the distractions, somebody is feeling the, uh, like the overall energy or thinking of you, Scorpio, or thinking of you, Capricorn. Something's haunting somebody here. They could be seeing your name. There could be a specific song that the two of you had or connected on with one another, or you felt like uh, there's a particular song that relates to your relationship or your connection. Something about a Capricorn born on January 14th. That's what I heard. <clears throat> what is the hidden truth of this King of Swords dynamic between Scorpio and Capricorn? Somebody's recognizing or realizing you were the best thing in their life. Oh, so the grass really wasn't that much greener on the other side, hmm? Mm. Like I said, somebody could have gotten their karma. If they're 
if somebody here is thinking that you were the best thing in their life, seeing the judgment card in my mind's eye, the five of cups, guilt, remorse, regret, judgment call, karma. Intensity, I'm hearing the word intensity. Somebody felt that this connection was just too intense. I am definitely feeling that there, like there was a getting along, you know, to some degree, but somebody faded off. Somebody fizzled out and I don't know who it was. It doesn't really matter. Only, you know, your situation, somebody faded or fizzled out of this connection. I heard spirit say drama behind the scenes, money issues, borrowed money. Wow, Munder money laundering? What the hell? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what that's all about. If I hear it, I'm going to call it out. Somebody might not exactly be a great guy or a great gal here. You might have even found out some truth that something this Capricorn or Scorpio, somebody could have been dealing drugs because the six, the six of Pentacles can represent a drug dealer. And that's in a very small percentage. Heard the name Sandy or if it's Sandra. Tabitha. I heard Tabitha too. Tabitha. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody's not budging. Confusion. I'm surprised the Seven of Cups isn't here. Confusion in one's thoughts, confusion in emotion. Hmm. What is the hidden truth of this Wheel of Fortune, please? Your person's first and or last name could start with the letter T, the letter R, the letter A, or the letter O within their name. Ha! Huh. I know I messed everything up. So either Capricorn, you feel like you messed something up here with Scorpio, or Scorpio messed something up with you. Somebody, again... They know that somebody here is admitting that they know that somebody here was the best thing in their life. The best person. Somebody got their karma. Because they messed everything up. Somebody didn't want to take emotional responsibility, emotional maturity. To be transparent, to be authentic. That's what I'm picking up. So now there's a healing process. Some of you guys threw your hands up in the air and just like, you know what? I'm done with Scorpio or I'm done with Capricorn. Because mm -mm -mm -mm. nobody was getting any answers. Maybe that could be the reason why I was picking up with that number nine, the light at the end of the tunnel with the hermit card. Let's go into the hidden truth romantically here with the romance angels. What is the hidden truth romantically between Scorpio and Capricorn with the six of pentacles, please? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So it could very well be true. Either one of you, if you found out that either one of you were dealing with somebody else or you were giving time and energy <clears throat> to other people, places, things, or situations, that tells me love yourself first. Somebody walked away. Somebody walked away from the connection because they needed to keep their sense of self-respect. And it feels to me this was a, like a runner chaser type of connection here to extract answers. And somebody just wasn't fessing up. Somebody wasn't fessing up the truth.
What is the hidden romantic truth of this three of swords in the reverse between Scorpio and Capricorn? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. It wasn't I just not talking about a drug dealer or somebody who might be addicted. They're looking for you everywhere. This person could have ended up being somewhere in the mix of it all in certain situations. Somebody was somebody's crutch and somebody wasn't going to have it. An emotional cr uh, crutch. So it just could have been clinginess, neediness, codependency, when in truth, in some regard, it was really somebody was trying to be vulnerable or express some form of vulnerability. Somebody took it as codependency or neediness or clinginess when somebody was actually trying to be maybe for the first time in a while, very transparent with their feelings. And somebody just took it the wrong way. And then it, it kind of blocked somebody off or it made somebody annoyed. That's what I'm also picking up from spirit. Or they were involved in a third party situation where there could have been drugs involved or codependency situations that were going on. It could be an ex this Capricorn's dealing with or Scorpio, you're dealing with the ex and Capricorn, you know, might have been trying to be the one the first time out to be, you know, be over the top expressive. But I do feel that there was some form of co like conversation or the subject matter might have came up about, you know, moving in together or, you know, creating a family together or combining family units, we'll say together. There are, I'm picking up some of you guys do have children that are involved with the situation here. Somebody felt like they could have been an awesome, amazing stepdad or stepmom to their kids. Maybe where there hadn't been a significant other in a long time um, to watch over and nurture and be emotionally there for uh, children dynamics within this connection. Mm hmm. Hmm. Picking up a Capricorn on December 29th. What did I say? Reconciliation. You were the best thing in my life. Somebody is admitting the truth that they, somebody here wants reconciliation, come together or leveling up the connection. What is the hidden romantic truth of the Wheel of Fortune and somebody feels like they messed something up here? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Well, trust needs to be rebuilt because somebody knows that they messed up. Somebody wasn't being vulnerable. They weren't being transparent. They weren't coming forward. There were codependency issues going on. Money problems. Exes. Exes that were getting in the way. Family members were getting in the way. This person's mind, somebody's mind was just disoriented. Not mentally balanced here. And somebody was. Because somebody was trying to extract the truth. That king of swords. Mental clarity. Realizing that you or the other person is the best thing that ever happened to them. Which is the truth. Hmm. Show me the energy of trust, trusted ancestors. How would trust get rebuilt between Capricorn and Scorpio? The lies and the deception and the mask has to fall off. Seven of Swords. This is the sneaky behavior. So somebody's getting their karma for lies and deception, for cheating, for being involved with the third party. They know they messed something up. So how does trust get built? Well, it, 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 the lies have got to stop. The deception has to come to an end for any form of real reconciliation to come forward. Somebody needs to own up to responsibility here. Flat out black and white. Queen of Cups energy, bottom of the deck. Somebody saying, I love you. It's 
Scorpio, Capricorn. If you'd like to book a personal reading for your situation, Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio, you're dealing with a Capricorn, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and we'll do your reading through the power of the numbers. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will send you that information on how to book a reading with me and we'll get you on the recording schedule. But until next time, my awesome and amazing Scorpios, please take care.